What is up everybody? Stud City here and today we're gonna go ahead with our Q&A video for March. Uh, now if you didn't ask a question and you want to ask a question, uh, be alert in my community tab on my channel. I will be posting, uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna do a recent, uh, a, a new QA video uh, in the future. So drop your comments below. I did that in the middle of March and here we are the beginning of April and I'm gonna answer these questions. Uh, I was waiting because I wanted to do it uh, with my city in the background. So I apologize for the delay, but here we go guys. We, we could just jump right into it. And the first question we're gonna go ahead with, uh, I'll put it right here, but Sith, Brisk, Sith Bricks asks, uh, what is your dream set? Now, Sid Bricks, man, uh, I actually own my dream set. My dream set is the Santa Fe locomotive. Uh, beautiful train. I'm a big train fan. This is is by far my favorite set Lego has ever produced. Like, uh, I think it's absolutely awesome. Uh, it's back from, I believe, 2002 or 2000. And uh, it was on my target list. And actually, my girlfriend went ahead and bought it for my birthday of 2020. And uh, I was really, really stoked to get it. And I actually waited... Uh, until I hit a thousand subscribers before I built it and I built it on a live stream with this channel and I thought that was something really special for the channel uh, we actually even built it on Christmas day so I, it was awesome but not only did she get me the locomotive she got me a passenger car and I would say my my entire goal is to complete this train uh, so I would need two more of these and then the two other ones that consist of the caboose and I forget what the other car is but definitely definitely my dream lego set my favorite lego set uh now if you're gonna ask me what's a dream set that i don't have i'm gonna go ahead with the town hall uh, i think that is probably one of my favorite modulars um just from the aesthetics from the outside our next question got really personal here and it was from daniel stubb and he asked uh do you edit your own videos uh and, uh, and record them. Yeah, so Daniel, man, I do everything. I uh, I record my own videos. I have my, myself a tripod. I edit my own videos. I do, I use iMovie and uh, Adobe Premiere. So I do it all myself. I post my own videos. I tag my own videos, everything you can imagine. Uh, you know, captioning, the whole spiel, I do it all. Besides for one time, I asked BFAB to make me a thumbnail. So <laughs> all the work definitely does come from me, man. So uh, but that, that was a really, really good question. And I, I hope that, uh, you know, helps me look a little bit better on myself because I, I do do it all. So <laughs> our next question comes from TL Productions. And he asked, uh, what is your plans for your Lego City uh, in 2021? Uh, one is to keep her away from it. Uh, that is a big <laughs> one. And then uh, uh, one of the other uh, big plans I want to do is add another table and make a train yard for the city just to showcase some of my trains because my trains are freaking awesome um and then also move the city uh back so i can uh work in the back area of the city uh, but other than that uh, my goal is to kind of in 2021 to kind of mostly complete the structure and some design of the uh mock skyscraper modular that's going to get placed into the city and then from there when it's in the city i could take layers off uh, and you know not be you know too much of a mess i could just take a layer off work on the inside of the layer uh but still have a eight story uh skyscraper just without one layer and you know work from there but so that is definitely on my to-do list uh, that i want to check off for 2021 uh, i do need a, t a boatload of pieces guys i really have no lego pieces to work with so that is something i really need to step up my game in and i want to get done but we'll, we'll see from there and then the only other thing is uh maybe try to find a town hall uh, in 2021. Our next question, guys, is from Big and Le Little Lego Guys, and he asked, uh, what do you suggest for smaller YouTube channels to grow, especially uh, for Lego? Uh, my biggest suggestion, man, is, uh, you know, to start, have a good founding core and just start your channel. Of course, I know you, you probably have, um, but uh, give it time. Uh, good things take time, and uh, that's probably, like, one of the best things I could say. Like, you can't build a YouTube channel in uh you know a week a month you know it's very very difficult uh, to build a, a really consistent audience unless you already have like a you know a million subscriber youtube channel then yeah of course you know you could build probably a 20 30 40 50k channel overnight but as far as a, a really close community uh where you just kind of start off uh, kind of like how i did like uh you know I, I knew nothing about youtube i never made a video before and i just kind of jumped into it and said i'm gonna build my lego content I didn't know anyone in the community. I really didn't. I knew my uncle, but he uh, didn't have any technology. Like <laughs> he was just in the community. But other than that, guys, you know, it's just, it takes time, uh, make good videos. Uh, that's another thing. Just make quality content, uh, be, you know, someone that like, make sure you can watch yourself. That's a big thing. Like I always watch back my videos when I'm driving. I'm like, okay, I posted a video the other day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it back, watch it. And I'm gonna make sure like I'm 
listening and I'm engaged in it because uh, it's important. You know, uh, the better the video, the more watch time and the more people will see it. That's basically it. That's <laughs> it's just how it works. Our next question comes from Theodore and he asked, what is my favorite Lego movie? Okay, guys, um, I did watch Ninjago a while ago before I seen the series and I was like, oh, you know, this is a really good movie. I really like it. And uh, then I watched all the seasons and I, I obviously loved the seasons. And then I went ahead back to watch, the, to rewatch the movie and I turned it off in five minutes because I couldn't handle it. Uh, so that one's thrown out right off the start. Uh, I do, I'm not a DC or Marvel fan, but uh, Batman was such a good one. Um, I really, really enjoyed that movie. But I'm I'm gonna go ahead uh, with the Lego Movie. I think I think that was probably my favorite. It was so so good. I only watched that you know a few months ago, so it's not like I watched it as a kid and rewatched it as an adult. No, I watched it as an adult, uh, you know, a couple months ago, and I thought it was fantastic. Uh, it was good. It was a great movie, great plot, great uh, you know animations and everything. Even the Lego Movie Two was good. But I'm definitely going to put the first one uh, above all the rest. Our next question comes from Lego Brawls. And he asks, when are we going to do a Lego Brawl Party stream? Oh, man, I would love to do something like that. But uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know enough people who play the game where it's just like, hey, we're going to totally do this. Uh, now, with that being said, uh, you know, the Lego Star Wars, Star Wars Saga uh, video game is supposed to come out. I read articles last night uh, on April 2nd that it was delayed yet again. Uh, but that is a game I would love to play uh, and definitely bring it to the channel. I think it would be really fun to bring that game to the channel and kind of incorporate it somehow. So if that game comes out, I'll be buying it and we're going to move to that game. But as far as Lego Brawls, I don't see it happening as of this point in time. Our next question is from Brickanics and he says, do you consider yourself a stud? Yes, of course, I'm a stud. And how many studs will be placed into your study? If you're meaning studs um, as many figures, man. Uh, I actually have a nowhere of a near idea on how many minifigs uh, we have, but I do want to add them like uh, into my Instagram profile. I want to take an exact uh, minifig count and just say population 400, population 500, you know, and just kind of grow and scale from there. I think it'd be really cool. But I hope that answers your question, Brickettix. <laughs> Our next question comes from Jay Studs, and he asks, are you going to be buying any of the Lego ideas from the Bricklink uh, set? Um, now, I don't know if how they're going to do it, if I could just purchase every piece or like as a kit. Uh, if so, um, I think I would do that, uh, possibly, uh, depending on the set, uh, especially like the Polar Express that came out. And if that doesn't, uh, you know, make it and it gets added to the Bricklink, I'll buy that thing up in a heartbeat because that is a fantastic set. But uh, the only other one I really like is the train station. Now, I do not have the freaking room for that. I believe that is like four base plates, um, if not bigger. But I would I would buy that one for sure as my train station in my city. Um, where on earth are we going to put it? Uh, I don't know. What would we do with this one? Uh, honestly, I would probably sell these two if I got that big train, straight, train station. Because that I think that thing is just 10 times more superior uh, in the level of detail compared to this. Um, but this one is really good as like a platform kind of thing. Uh, I really like it. Uh, if anything, I would get rid of the, the doubles, uh, you know, like the staircase up. But we'll, we'll see when that time's come, time comes. So I hope that answers your question, Jay Studs. Our next question comes from Portal Master Studios. And he asks, what is your least favorite Lego set? Now, this, dude, this was a hard question, dude. So props to you, man. Uh, you really put me in a difficult situation. Um, I'm going to go by my building, like least enjoyed building. I'm going to go with the Porsche 911 RSR. Uh, that is my first uh, Technic set. I bought it used, 100% complete. I spent around $70 for it. And, uh, you know, I was like, okay, I'll disassemble it and rebuild it in the future. And probably a month ago, I did that. I did just that. I sorted all the pieces. Um, I, I honestly think the most enjoyable part about it was like sorting the pieces. Like, I don't know why I had such a fun time doing it. But I, it just, Technic was not an enjoyable build to me. I don't know why. I just, I really didn't like it. So, um I'll be thinking and considering about parting with that set. Uh, I do have it 100% complete, so I'll probably get more than what I paid for it back. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to wait till it retires, though, just because uh, that's around the corner. But uh, I love the way it looks, but it's just meh, you know? Like, I don't really need a, a big 911 RSR hanging on my wall. I'd rather find a small one for my city, which I have, like, six of them. But, hey, but that, that, that was a tough question, man, and that is definitely my least favorite uh, Lego set. Next question is, how did I get into Lego? He said Legos, but I'm just gonna say Lego. Um, man, it was just going through a tough time. 
And, uh, you know, I've, I've always had a couple Lego sets as a kid, um, but, you know, essentially picked up a couple sets, you know, here and there just to, you know, test it out. And I thoroughly enjoyed building and uh, we just kind of went from there uh, and it escalated. You know, I ended up getting my first modular in 2020 and it was the assembly square. So uh, 2020 of January uh, to 2021 March or now it's April. I'm at 10 modulars, which is absolutely insane, guys. So it, it grew exponentially. The last question, guys, is what is your first Lego set? And here it is, all nice and dirty. The Hogwarts Express 5972, uh, back from, I believe, like 2005 era. Uh, that was definitely, definitely my first Lego set. Uh, you can even see I still have, like, the coins and stuff in here. So I believe this is 100% complete. Uh, one of my favorite trains, you know, is the Hogwarts Express. Like, it is pretty awesome of a train. But this was, was from when I was a kid. I got it for Christmas, uh, and I absolutely just loved it. Uh, the detail in it is pretty good, especially for this time period, man. Like, it is it is such a good train. But uh, I love it. You know, that it's what I always think about. Like, had, that was my first train and uh, how, like, it's progressed. Uh, but you do got to think, uh, this train was made after the Santa Fe. So that is a pretty big <laughs> spot difference, you know, like this was made after the Santa Fe and the Santa Fe is just a million times better. So that's crazy, the, the level of detail that went into play. But yeah, I hope that I hope that answers your question, man. Uh, it should. <laughs> but that's basically going, going to wrap up our Q&A video uh, for March. I know we're recording this in April, but uh, I'll definitely do, uh, I'll post another community tab here in the new future and uh, we can do another one uh, maybe by the end of April. Um, so let, let me know if you enjoyed the video and uh, if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the city out.